<laughs> President Obama using JP Morgan's surprise $2 billion loss to go after the big banks and push for more stringent regulations. Republican Congressman Scott Garrett is from New Jersey. He's on the House Financial Services Committee and he joins us now. Congressman, will you go along with this uh, more stringent regulations of the banks because of what happened at JP Morgan? Yeah, because of what happened at J.P. Morgan, what, what did happen at Well, they lost <laughs> some money. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I remember the, uh, the President of the United States made a profound statement, at least it was profound for him some months ago, when he said, markets go up and markets go down. Uh, well, we, we all knew that all along and that occasionally businesses do lose money. Um, but this has become a shock, apparently, to this administration and a shock as well to, uh, to those in Washington as well. But they do lose money, but at the end of the day, fortunately, the taxpayers are not going to be cut. That's all true, but the president, I believe, is using yeah. this as a oh. political tool to sort of say, come on, look, those banks, you know, we can't let them get away with this kind of thing. We can't be surprised like this. We've got to have this new layer of regulators that clamps down on this kind of thing. Well, Looks like he's going to be successful. He's going to push this through. Oh, well, I don't know about push things through, because it'll have to go through the House, of course. But does that surprise anyone? What's the old expression of this administration? Don't use any, let uh, any emergency go unused. And that's, here's another uh, crisis of some sort, at least in their mind. And so they're going to uh, try to use it. But the odd thing is here, here you're talking about $2 billion on one hand, and there's all this uproar on the other side of the aisle. But, you know, we've already lost around $180 billion to the GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and there's not a peep. Um, from the White House, from Secretary Geithner, from the Democrats, no one's talking about all those billion dollars, and that's going to go up to uh, three or four hundred billion dollars. Not a sound comes out of, uh, out of the White House about those monies, and that's where costing the taxpayers, not uh, J.P. Morgan's stockholders. How about the juxtaposition between NF yeah. Global, where I think yeah. 1.7 billion of clients' money was lost, versus J.P. Morgan, two billion dollars of the bank's money was lost. They've been treated completely differently. Let's, let's think about that for a while. Could, could that be just surmising here that uh, the head of uh, MF Global is one of the largest bundlers for this administration? I don't know. Um, that may play into it. Uh, maybe someone should be from the White House calling for hearings as to whether there is a tie between those people who bundle money for this administration and those uh, eight, uh, companies that the administration goes after or decides not to go after. I don't know, just throw that out there as an idea. You know, Congressman, you've been unusually politically partisan this morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's not well, like I, you. That's not like you. You're a soft pedal kind of guy. You work away within the, uh, within the bowels of government, so to speak, and you get things done. And now out you come as a rather partisan no. kind of guy. We love it, yeah. actually. Oh, well, it's it just that things like this tr truly annoy me. I, I am down here in, in the committee, uh, just came out of committee. Uh, I usually get into the weeds on these issues, and I literally want to make sure that the reform that we did last time and the reform that we do going forward is done, and it's done in the right way so that the American taxpayer is protected. And it annoys me to no end when people just play politics with these things. All right, Congressman Scott Garrett, my congressman, by the way. I live in New Jersey. <laughs> you represent me in my district. And we appreciate you being with us this morning, Congressman. Thank you very Good much. Good to be sir. back with you. Thanks a lot.